Oh, you know what's up. Y'all know what this is. Actually, y'all probably might not know what this is because I never have it. But it's the mallet for this, uh, mallet, mallet, the singing bowl. Hey, girl. Hello, Gemini. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valk, and I'm going to be doing your general reading for this week. And like with any type of general reading, I do ask you to rely on your intuition uh, because uh, I could be using an example for relationship but for you um it could be talking about a business situation right um so this is where i do ask you when it comes to the type of the general reading the cards may be speaking to you in a different way and plus just how i approach tarot i'm very analytical and i like to use analogies and so um just keep that in mind right i'm going to be pulling three rows for you gemini um, the last row is going to be the first couple of rows. We're just going to be talking about like the current energies, what you're currently going through and what is to come, the blessings to come. And then for your last row, that's where we're going to get advice from spirit, uh, more so like what you need to do um what you need to work on to receive the blessings in your life um so yeah if this reading is of resonance to you i would really appreciate let me uh letting me know which card is of resonance to you and how it pertains to you in your life in the comments below um and if it does give you a sense of direction i'd love for you to give me a uh, like and subscribe because it does help out my channel so much and so let's just jump into your reading right now gemini uh, for your first row right now we have the five of air the five of water and then four of air so it's interesting. We have, you're going through a moment, <laughs> Gemini, that is for sure. Um, I can just tell from looking at all your cards, but I'm going to focus on your first row. So let me show you the five of air. The five of air is talking about, uh, as the card says, it's talking, oh, let me read off the cards as well. Um, the five of air says an unwise choice. Learn what you can from the situation and review everyone's motives. So this, this is a situation for where I th feel like for this card, this is kind of asking for self-reflection of some sort right now, Gemini. Um, and it's saying like, I say this and I feel like it's kind of like, Ask you having to ask yourself what is this here to teach you this is something's happening in your life right now gemini to teach you something um and it's up to you not to feel victimized by it, or to feel sorry for yourself in this situation and allow it to truly teach you something and i say this because we have the five of water i um, mean this is where i really wanted why i wanted to read off these cards actually because the five of water says things are not turning out the way that you'd hope you're not seeing the positive in a situation and you're crying over spilled milk so when these two cards are being paired together this is telling me that like a mistake was made and now that you're dealing with the results of it um kind of beating yourself up over it perhaps or you're just feeling frustrated in it all and just like kind of just like anytime i see a bunch of air cards i kind of associate it with depression um so when you have the five of air paired with the four of air as well i'm asking you to take a rest i'll read the card again as well time to rest or take a vacation allow more time before making a decision and meditation may provide the answers so this is such a first row before you even pull any clarifiers gemini this is time for you to this week is going to be a time for you to think and reset to before you make a decision, think things through. Think about what it's here to teach you. Stop, like, because here's the thing, the five of water, you're crying over spilled milk, you're crying over the three glasses that broke, but you're not paying attention to the two blessings that you have in your life. You're not paying attention to what it's here to teach you. There's something here to teach you, and you need to take a moment of, like, resetting and really grounding yourself right now. Um, allowing more time to make a decision. This is kind of like a push for you to not make a decision based off of emotion, not to um, react emotionally, react responsibly, or not responsibly, uh, logically. So let me see right now. Okay, these are the cards that came out. Uh, we have, for your clarifiers, we have the Ten of Cups, we have the Emperor, and we have the Nine of Swords. Very interesting energies that come forward here. Uh, the Ten of Cups comes in as like the completion of some type of relationship. Um, you look at this card and it's just like you're cheering, you, you guys are cheering uh, with one glass of wine before you guys part your way sort of thing. That's how I'm receiving this message. The Emperor card comes in paired with the Nine of Swords, interestingly enough. It's like a... It's interesting because I just keep hearing like a boundary. It's like you're setting like a boundary, Gemini. You're setting a boundary 
or something's happening or where it's just like a boundary is set and someone has to stand in their boundary. They have to claim this emperor energy, right? Because it's like this person is having to just like say what they mean and be stern about it and be whatever. While it's disappointing this other individual, it's disappointing the female um, about this boundary, right? And there's no harsh feelings on it. It's just like you have both like, they, this person has to do what they have to do honor, to honor themselves and it just, it hurts this other individual in the fact of it. So it's almost as if uh, Gemini, regardless of whichever situation that you, like how the, which person that you are in the situation, how it's pertaining to you in your first row, what I'm really getting, Gemini, is it's asking you to, like, if someone's like, for example, we were just talking about boundaries, right? If someone, if this individual set a boundary with you, instead of being hurt by it, um, see where you could grow from that. Being like, oh, okay, this person set that boundary. Could I learn to set that boundary for myself as well, sort of thing, you know? How, learn, learn from the situation rather than feeling, uh, disappointed right uh the full moon surrendered to the divine so this is kind of like a trusting the process of everything rather than trying to make things happen new moon in libra confidence is the key to success and full moon in pisces balance and spirituality balance spirituality and practicality so it's almost as if like a you need to go forward um uh, gemini with confidence with because it's almost as if you've been shaken up a little bit the situation shook you up a little bit and this is where we go into your second row because this is where it's going to start making more sense with what i'm saying i feel a little drawn to pull another to pull an oracle card here but while i talk about that let's go into your king of coins for your second row we have the king of coins here this is someone finding their worth this is also perhaps paired with the other cards it's almost as if hmm We'll pull some clarifiers before I get too much more into this King of Coins because it could pertain to a couple different things and I want to get some clarification on that. But then we have the Hermit card. Very powerful card. This is where it gets really powerful. We have the Hermit card and then we have the Tower card inverted. So <laughs> this is where, like, again, this is falling into, like, some just intense energy. Um, so before I get into that, uh pull any clarifiers i'm going to pull a couple cards i guess now transformation so this situation is going to definitely bring some transformation for you and it's going to be healing the situation it's meant to trans whatever it is that you're dealing with gemini this situation is meant to heal you meant to help you see something in yourself that i feel because we talk about like the meditation and the push for spirituality uh, balancing your spirituality and practicality i feel like this is like a transformation in yourself and allowing yourself to heal from the situation um, doing some shadow work perhaps and seeing something in yourself of like what this brought out in you that you would like to work on in yourself perhaps right make it more about you and seeing how you can benefit from the situation rather than projecting um that's just something that came to head um so yeah let's pull some clarifiers how do i we're gonna use the necronomicon actually for this continuing on so with the king of coins energy it's interesting in that because it could be a couple of different things i feel for some messages it's like you need to hermit away um to focus on your finances i feel like this is going to be the best way for you um interesting Hmm. <laughs> this is the last thing you want to see as a reaction for your tarot reader, right? Um, <laughs> so the clarifiers I pulled for you, Gemini, were was the Fool card, the Knight of Discs, and the Three of Swords. So it's like... Hmm. I feel like I need to pull a couple more cards. <laughs> Honestly, this is such a, with all these cards, this energy here, it's a lot. So what? I, let me just break it down for how I'm processing it right now. Maybe um, we can help analyze this and figure this out together, figure out this puzzle together. So with the King of Coins, this could be talking about hermiting into your finances permitting into just figuring out like figuring out for your foundation because we have the tower card inverted so it's like you need to focus on your finances right now in terms of your tower card but i feel like this is, feels like a separate energy from your first row it's almost like you have a couple of different things clash coming down at once for you and that's why you have like the transformation like you're going to be transforming in a lot of ways um and this is why you're being pushed to like there's such a push for you to go inwards um because it's like it's like 
with the king of coins that says investing in your finances but this could be like your emotional wealth this could be like your mental wealth maybe you need to start building um and yeah maybe this could be just in terms of like your own mental checking in with your own mental um but it's really like whatever is being of value most prevalent value into your life and how this whatever this inverted tower situation is for you so for some people if you're going through like depression your best step would be investing into your mental health for some people if you're worried about finances in like your home your best thing would be for figuring out like what you can do for your career sort of thing i feel like uh for some people uh yeah knave of wands and the three of swords this i pulled the knave of wands coming forward as well and it's like a with the fool card and the fear sword like this is so interesting it's so interesting gemini in that it's almost like you feeling trapped like i feel like you feel trapped in something and it's through you feeling trapped you start reacting boldly it's almost as if like you start freaking out and like this person ends up getting stabbed obviously it's not like that's just the how this deck is sort of thing and it's just like you start freaking out and um just like because stress is high adrenaline is high you just do something out of mistake right because you have when the knight is just comes forward in the fool card this youthful energy and also like just being kind of like boo boo the fool and something and i feel it's like you end up reacting emotionally to something and you kind of regret it later um, because you feel trapped in a sense because of this tower card happening but i don't feel like it's the same thing as in your first row so it's like you're just going through a lot right now gemini dang um let's pull some animal cards for you um we have the spider card trust the creative spark you're feeling and express it through stories and inspire see i feel like the spider card is coming forward to you to find an outlet for yourself I feel like you need to find something to disconnect from everything else to find your own balance, to find something that you could invest in. And I say invest in, maybe you want to get into investments, but I feel like for the spider card, like you want to invest into your web. Investing in, and you know, when you think about the spider, the more the spider invests into their her web, or his or her web, let's not, for, this is 2020, let's not assume genders now. But when Charlotte built her web, right? The more you invest in it, the better that foundation is going to be, the better your home is going to be. So for some people, maybe you need to just put, put all your energy into the, this creative spark to um, start building your foundation. Like, I feel like you need to just start putting more focus on the long term, Gemini. I feel like that's your heavy push for you is to start focusing the energy on long term things instead of just like what's happening in the now. Think about because there's like about like there's like a disconnect. I keep hearing disconnect. And that's why you need like there's such a push for you to meditate, Gemini. And in all this chaos that's understandably happening in your life, I say I say it's understandable that you, there might be a little bit of a disconnect, but it's like in all this chaos, you still need to find time to heal um, and reconnect with your ancestors, reconnect with your community, right? This, um, this card that's on the top. And I also feel drawn to show this card as well, communication. Communication and purification. <laughs> it's crazy. I feel like this is just like such a week for you to not, just get out of your head, Gemini, get out of your head. For your last row, we have the four of discs, the queen of wands, and the eight of discs. And I pulled the three of fire for a clarifier. Um, this is straight up talking about your finances, <laughs> Gemini. So this is more so like more of an emphasis on like um, starting to invest in yourself, starting to invest in your foundation. Um, you know, like keep hearing like preparing for winter sort of thing. Obviously, this is winter time is starting to come, but it's like preparing for more like preparing for some tough times ahead um in this tough time I, I don't want it to sound like completely like all grim and whatever this could just be like a your spirit guy is just trying to ask you to be more responsible right just because you're preparing for something that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be bad it's just asking you to maybe even just shift your mind mental state back for the future rather than being just so focused on like the nows and like what's happening in the now and feeling like this tower moments the the end of your world when in actuality there's so much more in the future that you need to be looking at um you know like there's just so much more in, to life sort of thing so stop focusing hyper focusing on one specific thing um really i feel like that's kind of like what spirit's trying to say so it's like i know this all can be taken as super morbid gemini i really don't mean it in this way i just feel as this spirit's trying to ask you to stop being so focused in on something stop being so neurotic to on something and just see the bigger picture on um everything reset 
um, purify, trans like heal yourself so you can purify yourself so you can communicate properly with your community um, after you go through your transformational period. But the only way that you can go through that is by balancing your spirituality and practicality and surrendering to the divine. There's just this push for you to reconnect with spirit and reconnecting with um, just the greater and when you connect with spirit you just realize that none of this is serious and you just see the bigger picture on things again you stop being so focused in on like one thing that could be bad like yeah that one thing is bad it could be really bad in your situation it could be really hurtful it could be whatever this tower moment it can be spooky but if you only focus on that that's all your life is going to encompass so take a step back gemini take a step back and realize yeah this is happening but you have all these other blessings all around you i pick up all these cards <laughs> just to show you as like blessings like take a step back stop taking life so seriously gemini don't you know see the lessons for what it is that's what i get for you gemini i really hope this reading was helpful to you you have this this week gemini like just allow wake up every day as and be willing to be a open student to learning anything and i feel like you'll be able to handle this week beautifully i love you so much gemini really um good overall like really good transformational energies this is really a character building week for you gemini i love you so much and i hope you allow me to read your cards again sometime soon bye